Hey y'all, uh, welcome back to Neon's Move Reviews. I'm Neon, this is my review channel. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about Ken Zanzel's Kill Chain. But before I dive into that, just want to say, if you enjoy my content, please give this video a like, it really helps out the channel. And uh, we are nearing the end of the summer in a cage, got about a week left. So um, if you want to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, definitely going to be diving into some new, new stuff that's uh, very exciting. So. Uh, go ahead and hit the bell in the corner if you want to get notifications. But um, Kill Chain. This is uh, this is a film I not really heard of. Um, just stumbled on it on Amazon Prime. Uh, it's from my understanding, it was Amazon released this film. They were the distributors of it, and uh, it's extremely low budget. They did not market this film much at all. Um, and it's kind of a shame. It's um, it's not the best movie by any means. It's it's very basic in its construction, and the things just kind of happen and just kind of happen to work out. Uh, that's that's my biggest complaint with this is that it's just a lot of coincidences um, that at first I was very excited for, and then when you get to the end, you're just kind of like, oh, oh, really? No. Um, so had some issues with that, but overall had a lot of fun with this movie. Um, basic plot, you've got Nick Cage, um, well, it's not really a basic plot, but, um, you've got a series of characters that are all tied to this hotel and to characters that are at this hotel. And it's a series of rather unconnected, but strangely connected uh, events that tie all these different characters together. Uh, it's very Pulp Fiction-y, very... Um, it reminded me a, a lot more of uh, Smoke and Aces with some Go thrown in. Um, so, yeah. It was it was a lot of fun. Um, got some film noir I vibes in there as well. Um, but, again how things end up tying all together and resolving is where I had issues with this film. Um, I'll, I'll talk about those in, when I dive into spoilers, but uh, yeah, overall though, I really, really enjoyed this movie. Um, caught, got me interested right from the, right from the opening. Uh, you've got this great setup where uh, two hitmen walk into the, uh, the hotel uh, Nick Cage is the owner of the hotel. He kind of comes up there, and you can kind of tell that he's uh, he's got a darker side to him, but he's playing just like, oh, I'm just a, a happy uh, hotel manager. Well, how can I help you? And they're calling his bluff, basically. And they're about to execute him. They hint towards the, that, they, that he is their target, and he convinces them to hear his story before they kill him. And from there, we, we get all these different stories that come back to this and kind of go past. Um, but, yeah, it's... Most of what I want to talk about is going to be in the spoiler section. So, um, yeah, all in all, had fun with the movie. I will give it a 6 out of 10. Um, it's not a great movie by any means. Just fun entertainment, a little bit above the rest of the films I've given a 6 out of 10 to on here. Um, but just, it's a fun time. Um, your so, characters all do a decent job. Like, they're all interesting in their own right. Uh, the scenes are very good. The The shootouts are really fun. Uh, you get some really cool setups as well. And um, something I noticed is that you, in some shots you can see the bullets flying, which was kind of cool. And the bullets also have have force behind them. You can see the the path that they go. Uh, you can see the damage that they cause both to the environment and to the characters. And uh, yeah, the bullets had weight in this. Um, it wasn't just like characters would get shot up a hundred times and keep going. No, like you get, like you see the entry and exit wounds of these things. They're I, I enjoyed that. Um, and you get to, like, there's this really cool 
cool sh scene where for some reason all of these sheets are hanging in this room and the two characters are duking it out they're hiding behind the sheets and stuff like that and um whenever the sheets are, are shot through they catch fire and i thought that was that was kind of a fun fun twist on uh, what we've seen before added added a really cool aesthetic to the to the scene um and you got this other really cool scene where uh, characters in the back of a, of a car and then there's the person driving the car and they get into a shootout with one another um, and that was that was pretty fun as well but all in all yeah like I said really enjoy this I would definitely recommend it it's uh, it, it's on prime if you have prime you're already paying for it might as well check it out but um, yeah solid 90 minutes just a fun good time turn your brain off just have fun with it um, Diving into spoilers, um, so you have, so the, the first story, well, come in middle of the story with Nick Cage, and then he begins telling the story, and it's actually like, you, you could take that little bit out, and the film would work just as well, uh, because you see that same scene played out again, you just see a couple extra scenes, or scenes that were from somebody else's point of view in that sequence so adds a little bit more to it but they could have just added some s scenes to that later scene and it would have not changed the narrative at all um but so your first story is this uh is this older hitman he's uh he's in the hotel he's got his sniper set up and everything and he's getting a little sketched out because there's this car downstairs that's not going anywhere and he's getting really nervous about it um and then he notices in the building across he notices a uh, another sniper um and so he gets he's just all right what the fuck um calls this guy basically finds out yeah and he's just like so what am i gonna take the take the shot and then he k takes me like what's the plan uh and he was just like no you idiot you're the target um and uh basically says you don't let us if if we don't get you now we're gonna come after your daughter and and then we'll get you after after we have our our way with your daughter um so he basically knows that it's a last stand for him but he's knows he's not going to make it out but he's going to tr do what he can and uh that was a fun fun little scene um from there it follows the hitman that was or the other sniper once he's done there he he picks up his uh his score which is a bag of diamonds uh they're in this like stripped car uh, and um so if that happens then he gets picked up by two uh two police officers they put him in the back of their car and uh that's where you get that one shootout uh that i mentioned in the in, in the car uh he basically starts getting in each other's heads and they turn on one another for the score um from there um the the survivor he heads back to uh his girlfriend's place um or the, like the, the rendezvous uh, and, and meets his girlfriend. Uh, she takes the diamonds from at that point as the bad guys that they're dealing with um, that they've like stolen money from or something. Uh, they come for for them. They start running. He ends up getting captured, and the girlfriend runs and makes it to the hotel. And so she starts talking with Nick Cage. They start. Uh, figuring out that they can use each other for their own plans and uh and then you've got the uh the the two assassins show up and that all kind of plays out and then from there you basically learn that and all that really enjoying everything is all just by chance people making the best of the situation just really had fun with it uh, my issue is that nick cage reveals that he's the guy that set up the hit on the guy the the guy upstairs he's the guy that orchestrated um he's he's the one that is paying the diamonds and like all of this is his doing um that's my issue because so much of this story happened by chance that 
there's no way he can orchestrate all of this and it would have been so much more interesting just having these characters just thrown into the situation and just dealing with it would have been so much better um it's weird less less development would have been better in this film um just keeping mystery and just keeping it you know simple um but that's that's the big issue i have but it from there it still plays out pretty fun uh you get some some more characters start showing up to the place and things get fucking crazy as as you would expect but um yeah had a good time with it just my issue is that there is one person orchestrating all of this um and then at the end it just kind of just kind of ends like you get a hint of like he's gonna go on to do other things and um, maybe try to save the uh, the assassin's daughter or something, but I'm not really sure. Um, that's that's my big issue with it. Is it just ends? There's there's hints of more to come, um, but it just ended and resolved in this really weird way. Um, so, but yeah, still would recommend this film. Like. Uh, if you've, if you've seen this, I, I imagine you're at this point, uh, I don't know, or you just don't give a fuck, uh, if, if you stayed through to this point, but, yeah, I like this movie, I would watch it again, it was a fun, fun little time, um, what, what did you guys think of this? But, yeah, let me know down in the comments, um, got a review coming out for Moonstruck t next, and then I've got, uh, uh, what was it called? Uh, Dog Eat Dog uh, with uh, Nick Cage and Willem Dafoe. But stay tuned for those and uh, hope you all stay safe. Bye, y'all.